Hi everyone, this is Ronnie Isaiah, author of Kabbalah of Google. We're back with Chapter 3, Part E. You can find all of the content on hubpages.com forward slash hub forward slash Kabbalah of Google, or you can just Google Kabbalah of Google. Find me right there. Now, a lot of times you're going to find a HTTP which is the protocol for locating a web page. Here are some of the components of the URL. The URL is the address or the universal resource locator. The protocol is HTTP. Other protocols include HTTPS, S would be for secure, FTP, file transfer protocol, etc. The host or host name over here is www.porish.com. The subdomain is video and sits here just before the host name. The do domain name, which is part of the host name, the domain name is porish.com. The top level domain or TLD is .com. That's the top level domain. Israel is .il. France is .fr. Canada is .ca. The port is 80, so you can see here after the .com. The port is uh, 80 is the default port for web servers. Other ports are possible. A web server can listen on port 8000, for example. The path is Exoloop, right after the port here. And it's followed by a, it's, it's started with a forward dash. The path typically refers to a file or location on the server. Our example, directory, forward slash file, forward slash HTML, or an example of this hub page, the directory is after the dot com forward slash hub forward slash Kabbalah of Google chapter 3e. The simplest advice to give you is look at the search results. Chances are the top result will have decent page rank. Study th those top ranked sites, look at their source, and check out their links. Determine whether those sites use a static or dynamic IP. A static URL is a document that can be returned by a web server without the web server doing any computation. A dynamic URL is a document requiring the web server to do computations before returning the web document. It's more dynamic. Matt Cutts, pictured below, is the head of Google's web spam team and he relates in his blog that if the URL has a question mark at the end of it it's usually considered dynamic many interesting and valuable details can be learned on the private blogs of Google's top-notch personnel here on Matt's one person relates to Mr. Cutts on his blog sorry Matt I just thought it was funny how the blog owner was listed as living in Google's central headquarters, the Googleplex. Matt answered with some comedic relief of his own. Uh, his domain is uh, mattcuts.com, and uh, he gives his address as 1600 Amphitheater Parkway. That's the Googleplex. So you live at the Googleplex now, huh? And he answered this uh, gentleman writing on his blog, Ryan, a few years ago we did have an intern who tried to live at the Googleplex during his last few weeks of his internship HR had to send out an email no living at the Googleplex the thing with Google is there's two sides on one side it's organic which is what we have been talking about all along on the right side are sponsored ads which we discuss which we will discuss shortly organic side is what we are talking about when we use the term page rank just to show it again we're searching Florida Kosher Tours, and on the organic side, we're talking about 
my site having page rank of 1 and page rank of 2. On the right side here, you'll see sponsored ads. The sponsored ads are basically paid for. This Africa Kosher Safari site might pay a dollar for every time somebody clicks on their site like that. They're trying to generate traffic to paid per click ads. We're talking about generating traffic with the organic side, which is free. Organic side is what we're talking about when we use the term page rank. Again, the focus of this book is using Kabbalistic principles to optimize for Google page ranking. The key to keeping uh, comfortable with searching for keyword terms with a tilde after the keyword. After producing a list of synony synonymous search terms, take the resulting keywords and continue focusing the search. Look and see who the top ranked sites link to. The way page rank works is an ever changing and evolving process. Understanding these basics will make it much clearer for you when we get into actually designing the navigation of your site and promoting it. We're going to get deeply into that in future chapters. For now, let's try to map it all out. Keeping track of hosting accounts, domain registers, affiliate accounts, and other website related details can get uh, pretty overwhelming. Many hours of valuable time have been spent trying to track down information that could have otherwise been spent on something that uh, makes money. Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, and, and most other email programs allow you to create folders and subfolders. Create folders called servers, domains, affiliates, and memberships. Creating more folders as time goes by and creating subfolders underneath each of these folders or within each of these folders is the key to good organization and building and articulating a hierarchy of information. These articulated folders will contain all the related communications within their respective folder topics. This will help to easily keep track and file important for information and more importantly find it when you need it. This also prevents accidentally deleting important files during inbox cleaning. Post your websites if you haven't already. As your business grows I strongly suggest that you look into getting a dedicated server. However, for your first few websites, you can easily, you can very easily get started with a shared hosting account. The best thing about getting a shared account is the reasonable prices. Shared hosting can cost about ten dollars a month. Hundred fifty a month is approximately the cost for a dedicated server. We recommend, as your business grows and finance permit, to get a dedicated server. For great starter hosting services, check the thematic.com website. Register for the main affiliate and PPC networks. Look for products to promote your sites. Get free, get free accounts with these affiliate programs below. Here's some affiliate programs listed. Commission Junction, ClickBank, ShareSale, LinkShare, and Kalimbo. With each program that you sign up for, create a subfolder in your email under the affiliates folder. Take the time to put the email in the, proper, in the appropriate folder. You'll also want to register for the main PPC program, that's pay-per-click programs. These are a wonderful complement and revenue resource for your website and will work very effectively with affiliate programs and even on their own. Register for AdSense, Yahoo Publisher, Chitika, and Modern Click. Some of these sites require you to have a website already created when applying for membership. In the case that you do not already have an account with these services and you do not have a website, go back to building a site and put this as a top priority on your to-do list. By the way, as part of your strategy, we suggest not monetizing the website for the first month. Explanations in more detail further on. Google AdWords is the advertising system Google uses as the source of Google AdSense ads. AdWords is by far and away the largest and most effective online ad approach for certain products and services. It is also for testing and improving the website by sending the site almost instant traffic.